Okay, hey Cancer, so this is going to be a reading for the month of October. I'm getting Cancer, like you have somebody that like teamed up or collaborated to work against you like behind your back in order to like, this could be in order to get you fired. I've been getting that energy in these readings. But whoever this individual is, this person secretly wants to be with you. And I'm getting like, once you walk away from a situation, this person is going to run behind you or chase behind you or something. So like you're letting the situation go. Somebody feels like I'm really getting somebody. This could be somebody that feels some type of way about you having your own business or something like that here. Yeah, we have get out of your own way. Yep. I'm getting like you let this go and you're moving forward. Yeah, go with the flow. You know, things are always working out for you. Somebody also admires like how you are able to manifest or trust the process, even though you have like all the eyes stacked against you. This person, whoever this individual is, this person always knew you were spiritually high ranking as well. For some, this could be an ex of yours. Yeah, we have let the money flow in. I'm also getting this person is trying to figure out like what you do on the side as a side hustle. Aside from the job, they got you fired from what's going on here with cancer and this person was working with a third party to get you fired or this person connected with a third party that this individual knew didn't like you just to like get you fired and like once you let go of this situation and you move on with your life and go towards a new business endeavor this person is going to like run behind you and the person that helped this individual get you fired they're going to realize you were telling the truth the whole time yeah, what's going on here with cancer? Yep, did not look. You cannot make this up here, cancer. Somebody did something like somebody betrayed you. That yeah, you cannot make this up. Somebody betrayed you here. Okay, this person felt like something was justified. So whoever this individual is, this person felt like it was justified. Getting you fired was justified. But, like, really, this person knew you were innocent the whole time. This person just wanted to, like, try to rush in and, like, make you an offer after they got you fired or something like that here. For some, this person is working with a third party to do this or something here. And this person could, like, secretly be in love with you or something like that here. Yep, didn't I tell you? Didn't I... So this individual is going to reach out to you. This is a king of wands. This king of wands energy here. I'm getting this individual is going to reach out to you after betraying you like this. So this person got you fired because this individual like secretly is very passionate about you and wants to be with you. But this person can be with you if like you own your own business or something like that. Because this person is like selfish. This person is intimidated by you having your own. That's what I'm getting. This person is intimidated by you having your own. And I'm getting you know holding on to this and trying to prove yourself and prove your innocence in regards to whatever outcast in this is that you dealt with. Like you knew that like this was blocking you from moving forward towards new opportunities. So you released this situation. Well, once you did that, like it was all about just getting you fired. That's all it was really about was getting you fired. So once you release yourself from this situation and you move forward to do something new, I'm telling you, this individual that worked against you with this third party is going to run behind you trying to make you a love offer. But this person knows you don't want their love offer. And I'm really getting the person that helped this individual get you fired is going to feel like, <laughs> like used. Yep. This person is going to feel like they got used by your ex. Like your ex used somebody to get you fired. So this individual could come in and make you a love offer. Yep. Damn. <laughs> You're going to recover from whatever betrayal this is. Like somebody was... This person also could have been like slandering you at work or something like that. Or like leaving bad reviews or something like that here. Yeah, if you have a shop or something like that, you may want to keep it where you make... I'm getting like you make things with your hands. I'm getting like you may want to keep this private from whoever this individual is. Okay, so I'm really getting this person. 
man, look here. This person really wants to be with you, but this person regrets something that they did. That's what I'm getting. This person saw you getting good karma, and this person was jealous about that. So this person decided that they were going to try to shift the will of fortune out of your favor by doing something underhanded to you. This could be like mass flagging. This could be like colluding with your coworkers or something like that. Like somebody was conspiring behind your back. Somebody was like conspiring with anybody that they thought didn't like you. That's what I'm getting. And this person found somebody that was like, yeah, what's going on here? Wow. Okay. So whoever this individual is that betrayed you, this person is going to like discard the person that helped them do this to you. And when this individual does that, they're going to realize that you were telling the truth the whole time and that you are innocent. You were telling the truth about your ex-lover like harassing you at work because this person's going to rush in and try to make you a love offer. Wow. And I'm getting like you're still going to you're going to be very successful. You have a lot of earth in your chart here with this King of Pentacles and this Ten of Coins. You're going to have a lot of opportunities or you're going to be you could have like <laughs> i'm getting like man look here mm -mm. you're going to work your way up to building like a multi-million dollar business that's what i'm getting with your hands with something that you created with your hands and this is after you had somebody that did something underhanded to you because this individual was like secretly in love with you and just didn't want you to. Damn, 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 damn. This, whoever this individual is, this person feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you because this person did not treat you right when you were like in a relationship with them or friends with them. So like you decided to move forward and on your own or whatever. This person is like. Look here. Yeah, I'm getting whoever you are. You got somebody that's mad at you. I'm getting for... I'm... Wow. Okay, you got somebody that's mad at you because you didn't give up on yourself. Because you could have. Yeah, somebody wants to reach out to you. But I'm also getting this person is realizing that you are a divine being or you are a divine feminine or something like that here. And this individual is wanting to reach out to you. Somebody admires how you handle a situation because you could have gave up on yourself, but you did not. You know things are always working out for you. This person celebrated you getting fired, thought you were going to be upset, and you were happy because you know you have new opportunities coming in for you. And whoever this individual worked with or whoever helped, I'm telling you, whoever helped this person get you fired, they're pissed off because they're realizing that your ex, your ex like used them to get you fired because this person was going to wait till you were struggling and broke. And this individual was going to rush in and make you some type of offer. And that's the opposite. Like you with your own, you're not dealing with this person. That's what I'm getting. Yep. Didn't I say this person was going to wait till you were overwhelmed and stressed out financially, all your bills piling up. And this person was going to rush in and make you a love offer. That's crazy. That is crazy. Like somebody can't stand to see you having your own. For some, I'm speaking to a masculine energy. For some, I'm speaking to a feminine energy. But somebody can't stand to see you having your own. You started your own business. Everything you touch, it grows. Definitely if you have earth highly aspected in your chart, everything you touch, it grows. You're not afraid to be your true authentic self. You're not afraid to stand in your power. So somebody thought that they shut down one of your, I'm getting a business, or this could even be like a side hustle. But somebody thought they shut this down for you, and I'm really getting somebody to push you towards, somebody to push you towards, <laughs> I'm hearing greatness, just watch. And it's going to come in a totally different form. And something that you were doing before that this individual like shut down for you, something that you were doing before is going to be like, 
it's not even going to compare to this new thing that you're doing. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. Damn. Somebody also, whoever this individual is, this person worked with a water sign. So I'm getting care. So you have somebody that was in competition with you that worked with a water sign to shut you down, get you fired or whatever this is, outcast you. But for some, this does not have to be a water sign. This could be a feminine energy that just didn't like you. And this feminine energy was more willing to go against you. Because this individual could be like very competitive or something. Yep. Yeah, we have December here. We have forgive yourself. You done nothing wrong. So just keep stay focused and keep moving forward. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, I'm also getting, you need to get out in nature. If this is something that you have not been doing, you need to get back out and ground yourself. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. Know that things are always working out for you, even when you don't see it. Yeah, be happy. I'm getting things are always working out for you, even when you don't see it. So just trust the process. And you don't have to like prove yourself to anybody. And like I said, if you have another like a business that you're doing or something that you're growing or something that's now bearing fruit for you, keep that to yourself. You may want to keep that to yourself or away from whoever this individual is that betrayed you with this co-worker. Because this individual straight up betrayed you with a co-worker. That's too many. Yeah, removing negative energy attachments and you are part of the same awareness as all things around you. I'm also getting like, I got this in a previous reading. If you do something in regards to your intuitive gifts, uh, your ex is like stalking something that you're creating. This person feels triggered, but you're picking up on this person's energy. You're not doing anything. You're not targeting this person or anything like that. But you got somebody that's upset. Like this person keeps watching you or something like that here. Like I'm also getting like somebody's watching you on repeat or something. Like you got somebody for some. This could also be somebody that didn't really believe in like. I'm hearing intuitives or something like that. But somebody is realizing that like you are skilled or something like that. But like I said, for some, this is somebody that didn't really believe in like intuitives or whoever this individual is. This person like somebody is like obsessively watching a spiritual based practice that you have like not. I don't know what this is. And this person did something underhanded to you. In order to like get you fired because this person felt triggered by you not only having your own spiritual based practice, but because like you're able to pick up on this individual's energy. And this person is not like that. Yeah, but I'm an endotheric cancer. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you. But whatever this new uh project is that you're creating, you're going to it's something is going to be very successful. I'm getting trust the process and get out of your head. That's what I'm getting. Because if you're up in your head and if you're in lack and if you're feeling defeated, then you're blocking yourself from whatever abundance this is you have coming in. So go with the flow and trust the process. But I'm going to end it there.